Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Hin Renee and it is so nice to meet you. On this channel, we talk about taking care of ourselves and our home to the best of our ability. So if you like that type of content, make sure to subscribe. But today, it's time for the August reset routine. My puppy is being so loud. Quiet on set, Winston. I can't believe it's already time for the August reset routine. I think I say that in every video, but here we are. Let's get started. You know how this works if you've seen my other reset routines. We're going to start with the reflection of last month. I keep saying August reset routine. It's really September because August is over. August was one of the busiest months ever. Probably the busiest month of 2024. I had something on every day of my calendar. So it just took so much out of me to go to all these birthday parties and going away parties and hanging out with friends and content trips and I went to Denver so it's just a lot of stuff. Some highlights of August was definitely my trip to Denver because I had an absolute blast being there with my friends. If you haven't seen that vlog go watch it. Some other highlights I did a few like end of summer activities like tubing, going to a water park, UTVing, so I've been doing lots of fun activities like that with friends and family. So that has also been a highlight. Now I'm going to fill out the monthly reflection page of my planner. Again, if you haven't seen my videos, I have the daily planner by Dream Daily. That is a brand by Hannah Ashton, who is also a YouTuber and she made these planners. So I'm going to fill out the monthly reflection page. So what this has on it is it says core memories, this month's wins to improve next month, life balance, and you give yourself a score, and then new ideas. So I'm gonna fill that out and tell you what I came up with. with Winston and this is what the reflection page looks like I already told you the core memories this month's wins are obviously lots of social time I ended summer with a bang doing all these fun summery things and Winston's behavior we've gotten lots of compliments on how well behaved Winston is and I feel like that is win so I'm gonna take it Things to improve on for next month are rest and self-care, time at home, slowing down, all of those things because like I said, we've just been going and going and going and I miss time at home, you know? I also put communication with Alec, just getting better at that. I'm not the best at it and just communicating what we're doing and all that stuff. I did the highlights for the life balance the five, the only one that's a five was social. The ones that were one out of five were personal and finance because I haven't been taking care of myself. And when you do all these things, it's very expensive. So that is the month's reflection. Now we're gonna move on to 
September goals. So we have big goals, mini goals, action steps, projects, and habits. So I'm gonna fill this out. My camera died so since I last spoke to you I curled my hair because I'm going to a special event tonight so that's why I look like this but we are gonna finish the reset so for my monthly goals for September I said my big goals would be prioritizing my family home and self-care floors being installed we have hardwood floors that we need to install ourselves and then making extra money to pay off some debt that would be great so my mini goals for that is meal planning small gestures i saw this i don't know idea on tiktok where it was just saying that a married couple does these small gestures every day just to remind the other person they're thinking about them that they love them and I'm not very good at that, so I wanted to put that as a goal of mine. I want one night at home to rest a week. That would be lovely. Install floors in the hallway, because that's the first area we're going to do. And then I want to relist my Facebook Marketplace listings. I need to take better pictures, and I think they'll sell better. Alec wants to sign up for DoorDash to make money, so we're going to do that. And I'm also going to sign him up for the website that I use called Prolific to do surveys and you make money that way. So that's the mini goals. Let's see. And then my habits on here are reset day on Saturdays every week. I have just forgotten the concept of a reset day. So I just want to do that again. And then I put read before bed because I would like to get back into my reading game. Now I'm going to fill out the September spread, just the outer edge. On the outer edge, we have a weekly to-do list. We have bills to pay, appointments to make, books, movies, TV, and notes. So I'm gonna fill that out real fast. too much on the weekly to-do list side because I just couldn't really come up with anything and I feel like I'll come up with stuff as the month goes on. So I just filled that out for books, movies, and TV for this month. I want to read The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I want to start Gilmore Girls for fall and I want to watch Inside Out 2. Hopefully it's on Disney Plus this month. That would be great. For appointments to make, we both need hair appointments, me and Alec. So we need to schedule those and a vet appointment and then the bills to pay are the same. So pretty easy. And I like that it's a chiller month. Look at all those empty days. That's so good. So last but not least, we got to do the content corner. Truthfully, a content corner is not exciting. So still haven't finished Iron Flame. I will talk about it in a reading vlog coming up. <laughs> I didn't finish watching Brooklyn Line 9 like I wanted to. 
maybe I can do it by the time the month ends because it's only the 27th so we'll see and I did watch it ends with us and my review of it ends with us I kind of think it was like a six out of ten because there's a lot of things that were not book accurate which I understand happens when you have a film adaptation but I just felt like it wasn't as intense as I wanted it to be. It didn't feel very heartfelt in the acting. And the outfits they put Lily slash Blake Lively in were just ridiculous. So that is my take on that. But if you read the book, you still should watch the movie. It was good. So hopefully next month's content corner is more exciting. But I need to rush to this event because I'm late. I probably will film tomorrow a little fall bucket list. We're gonna create a fall bucket list. So let's head to tomorrow. Hello, it's the next day. I got poofy hair <laughs> because of the event last night and I just brushed out the curls. So we got a little bit of a poofy hair to do that. Oh well, so we're going to do the last part of this reset since we are getting ready for a new season. I want to make a fall bucket list. I'm so excited. So I am going to head to Canva and to Pinterest and I'm going to find all of the cute ideas of things to do during the fall time. I just love making these bucket lists because I feel like it gives you something to look forward to and like if I'm hanging out with a friend typically we would just go get coffee but if I have this fall bucket list I can go to that and be like oh I wanted to go to this market let me take so and so that I would just get coffee with and we can go to the market and then I'm able to do fun fall things with friends how precious is that so I am going to update it to be what I want to do for fall. So excited for fall oh my gosh it's my favorite season I'm gonna put it right here and I'm gonna talk about it oh this is so good my bucket list includes bake pumpkin treats it doesn't have to be like a bread or a pie it can be cookies or something pumpkin related carve a pumpkin I think I've only done that once in my life so I'd like to do it again have a bonfire, go apple picking, decorate for fall, which I'm doing on Sunday because it's September 1st on Sunday. Watch Gilmore Girls again. Go to a pumpkin patch. Baking day. Me and my Nana started a tradition last year where we bake in the fall time. We have a fall baking day. So I'm going to do that again. Read five books. I have lots of cozy books on my TBR. That would be perfect for this time. Drink hot apple cider. Add to fall playlists. I already have a fall playlist, but I want to discover some new music and add to it. Friendsgiving. This bucket list is going until November, so that's why there's November stuff on here. Eat apple donuts. Make a boo pizza. Have you seen that on TikTok where people have pizza dough they shape it into a ghost and then they put their toppings on it to look like ghosts i think that's fun it'd be a fun date night with alec i think halloween party drive through the mountains i live near the smoky mountains so that is the best time to go drive through them it's the fall time it's beautiful fall picnic paint pumpkins alec and i do this every year we paint silly little things on pumpkins and then we put it on our front porch so 
keeping that tradition alive. <laughs> a movie marathon day, a fall potpourri, if that's how you say that. That's just a pot of water and then you put ingredients in it to make your house smell fall scented. Turn 25, I turn 25 in November, so that's crazy. And then I'm going to the Morgan Wallen concert in September, so that is on there too. Oh my gosh, now I just want to light a candle and get fuzzy socks on. I just want fall to happen, like right now. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and let me know of any other video ideas you'd like to see from me, because I love to do this for you, and I'll see you whenever I see you next. Bye guys!